Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is another comic book review and I hope you enjoy. Cicada is a flash rogue who is the head of a cult that does anything for Cicada. Cicada believes he and the Flash are somehow connected by the way they both got their powers getting hit by lightning. This year, Cicada is the main villain in The Flash Season 5 and he is completely different on purpose and I like what the show is doing with him so far. Cicada made his first appearance in The Flash, Volume 2, Issue 171. This is the second part to the four-part story, Blood Will Run, in April 2001. It starts with a slaughter at City Hall, while retelling a fight The Flash had with Dr. Alchemy six months prior at City Hall, where the last man to be killed actually helped The Flash back then during the battle. There has been a bunch of murders springing up, and all have The Flash as a connection. This is the Wally West Flash. Someone has been busy killing people the Flash has saved, superheroing throughout the years. We cut to Cicada, where he is leading a cult. Apparently decades ago, he was on his deathbed. Now, he has hundreds of followers who would die for him. Now, a cop has died, and the Flash promises her partner, the oldest cop on the force, that he'll stop them. Later, Wally talks to Magenta, and they have a sit-down where Wally apologizes for their past relationship, and Magenta thanks him for what she is today. Magenta then starts fighting Wally West, and he breaks her mask open. At the end, it's revealed that the children of Cicada, Cicada's cult, don't hate the Flash, but love him. Cicada's first appearance left off on a good cliffhanger, but in it, we really didn't even see Cicada. People are willing to die for Cicada's end goal, and it has something to do with the Flash. This issue was really about Magenta and setting up Cicada as a huge threat. I thought this issue would be way better, but it was a quick and easy read. Nothing wrong with that, but as a supervillain's first appearance, it should have shown the villain a bit more, I feel. I give it a 9 out of 10. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and have a good day.